Hi, today we're going to compare the Gibson Les Paul to the uh, closest thing you can get from Fender, namely a Telecaster Deluxe, you know, both double humbuck guitars. Uh, the Deluxe was built in the 70s, uh, they had three guitars with uh, humbuckers in the 70s, the uh, Deluxe, the Custom and the Thin Line, and they built those between 71 and 79. Uh, the Deluxe I have here is from 78. Uh, the humbuckers in these guitars are, are not like the uh, not, not the same principal design as the uh, the uh, Gibson humbucker. They, they were actually invented by the same guy, Seth Lover, uh, but based on the, uh, different designs. In, in the Gibson humbucker, you have a square magnet at the bottom, made out of uh, aluminum, nickel, and cobalt. On the on uh, and and the pole pieces are made of uh, that, that, that uh, you know pokes up to the strings are are, are made of uh, of steel. Uh, in in the uh, wide range Fender pickups, the pole pieces themselves are the magnet instead, and, and there is no square magnet at the bottom. Uh, they, they they are not using all nickel there. I think it's because of machining and so on. They, they couldn't machine screws with, you know, with windings or what it's called out of those. So they have to go for another alloy and it was copper, nickel, iron instead. Kunife, or how you pronounce that. Uh, and, and that has slightly lower output. So you have to have more windings. And that's why it's bigger than the... Uh, so, so you can't fit one of those wide range pickups in a, in, a, in a Gibson. I think the Gibson is 50 millimeters wide. And the, and the wide range pickups are 53 and you know, Fender pickups. Uh, and, and this design, you know, using, uh, using the uh, pole pieces as magnets rather than the magnet at the bottom is, is, is to make it sound more like, uh, you know, the original single coil uh, design where the pole pieces are the uh, magnets. Uh, so I'm going to compare these two today. Uh, the interesting thing here is, you know, the uh, uh, the, the pickups themselves differ, uh, the wood differs, uh, and, and may, maybe most important of all, you know, the Fender uh, scale length is 25.5 inches, and the Gibson scale length is 24.75 inches. So that's why I think the, uh, the Deluxe uh, um, Telecaster is so interesting. So you get the... Uh, the uh, humbucker sound, but but with the benefits of a length, longer scale length. Length. So let's let's ha have a riff and then discuss it afterwards, and uh, you know, and then I go for another riff, and I'm going to comment a couple of them, and then li listen to all of them, and I want to hear what you think in the comments. <laughs> Listening to this first uh, classic hard rock riff, I, I, I think um, you know that there is more oomph and, and, and more uh, definition in the Fender. Uh, whether that is because of the pickup, the scale length, I don't know. The Gibson, in turn, is, is um, midier uh, and, and more uh, has has more uh, more complex sound, but I kind of like. For this one, I kind of like the, the Fender better. Uh, th those of you who are very familiar with this subject, please, please uh, <laughs> inform me about this in, in the comments because I, I like to know. Because we, you know, there, there's lots of parameters that are changing at the same time. You know, scale length, wood, uh, and, 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 and pickups. Um, so, so it would be interesting to see where, where, where differences come from here. <laughs>
kind of, uh, you know, uh, one note solos, you can really hear the complexity of the Les Paul. Uh, I, I prefer it here. Um, and, and, and the, uh, I mean, the uh, Deluxe sounds, uh, sounds great, but, but uh, it's less complex. So when you only have one tone, one note ringing out like this, you need all the texture you can get, you know, to, to fill out and make something happen. Uh, I, I don't know if this is uh, a fruit of, of the different pickups or if it is, you know, the design of the Les Paul with, uh, you know, uh, set neck and, and uh, you, you have a, a maple cap and, 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 and you, you have another wood, you know, mahogany in the back and so on. Uh, there I'd, I'd like to hear your reasoning as well. Is that uh, I really like the, the, the Fender a lot better, but, but the Les Paul sounds more classic in some way, you know. Uh, but but the, 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 the Fender feels more alive in some in some way. Uh, so so I, I can understand why Ace Frehley used both of these guitars. Maybe not to layer them, but but or, you know they they kind of complement each other very well. All right, let's listen to the rest of the, of the riffs and, and uh, let me know uh, what you think in the comments of the tone here and, and uh, all the knowledge you can share about these, these pickups. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 